I was also checking um, social media and I happened to stumble across this really funny post, courtesy of the one and only, courtesy of the one and only Kanye West. You gotta love Kanye, you know? You've gotta flip and love Kanye. I love how he just pops out and just reminds people what time he's on because I guess on his side, he must have people basically. Um, I won't say hoping that he has a breakthrough, hoping that he has some sort of turnaround. But I like, I, f- I like that he kind of feels like he has to keep reminding people that he does whatever the hell he wants. And it kind of reminds me of that Gerard Piquet interview recently in El País, where they're asking him questions about, um, you know, his uh, what you call it, his um, relationship with Shakira and how now they're being divorced because obviously, you know, he was uh, uh, allegedly caught cheating and whatnot. And the internet is completely turned against him and they're hounding him online and trying to bully him. And he was basically like, hey, I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. All right. And it was really refreshing to hear that sort of thing instead of like trying to appease and win over the internet. When in general, when in general, no one, no one, no one, no one, no one, no one cares. Right. In general. And also, you're never going to win over the internet when you're really the bad guy. So I love that Kanye just kind of pops up randomly i want to remind people hey i'm still on that mad time so kanye got on his instagram recently and decided to put a poster up of the you know the funny legendary comedic movie 21 jump street featuring jonah hill and channing tatum and the caption that he wrote is as follows watching jonah hill in 21 jump street made me like jewish people again (laughs) no one should take anger against one or two individuals and transform that into hatred towards millions of innocent people no Christian can be labelled anti-Semite knowing Jesus is a Jew. Thank you, Jonah. I love you. This statement is, you know, riddled in contradictions. But I just love, forget all that. I just love the fact that he pops up and reminds people what time he's on. Because I'm pretty sure on his side, there are people like thinking, because he's been quiet on social media, he hasn't said anything. People are thinking, oh, Kanye's changed. He's seen the light. He's had a breakthrough. He's come back around. He knows what he did is bad. He's our Kanye again. He's like, nah, I'm no one's Kanye. I am yay. I'm no one's Kanye. You cannot control me. Nothing's ever going to change in that regard. I am who I am. And I I love it. I love that he's like that. I love that he kind of continually pushes the line on that sort of message and doesn't stray from it in the slightest. That's the first thing that I like about the guy. Because part of me thinks, hey, it's disappointing, of course, if you're a long-time fan of his and you see what stuff that he's doing and it can make you make you fall out of love with him, blah, blah, blah. But I, something as well that I love, that kind of concept of F you money, of he's actually living that life, similar with like Elon Musk. Say what you want about these guys, but at least, at least... They are using that wealth and that money they have to live life exactly as how they want it to live. As, uh, live life exactly how they want and say anything that they want to say. Because they have the room, they have the luxury, they have the fun. <gasps> sorry, the, sorry, the financial backing. Bloody hell, that hiccup was weird. They have the financial security to kind of be okay. Because us regular people, we have jobs, we have reputations to kind of care about, future prospects, family members that we're scared of friends that we're scared of right we have to kind of keep ourselves kind of kowtowed and you know kind of toe the line and be meek and whatnot but sometimes if you've got the money to say f you and to say exactly how you feel even if you are going to be labeled an anti-semite even if you're going to be endorsing people like you know what's his name up there right the book i've got even though you're going to be talking like that guy is your best friend hey at least you're doing it and even more so with Kanye, I have to respect it with Ye, is that he's doing it as being like a cool guy, as being like the, the pinnacle of cool guy, where he knows all those people in that scene, for the most part, are very heavy, left-leaning, super liberal. So the fact that he's coming out and being this hardcore, right-wing, Christian conservative type of guy, it's going to alienate him from his entire friend base, which is, it basically did. But because he's so genius and his talent is so high level, he knows all it takes is another good run of products, and they're all going to be coming back again, you know, trying to kiss his feet, and trying to get invited back to shows, and go to flipping listening parties and whatnot, he knows how fickle the game is, so he's just kind of playing it like a fiddle, but of course, if you're his friend, if you're the people that he dissed along the way, the Yoon from Ambushes, the Tremaine from Denim Tears and Supreme, and all these people, and John John Legend, if you're those kind of people and you know him, 
like you'd, you'd have to be like, hey, if I see you, I'm going to punch you in the face because he's definitely somebody that you feel like hasn't necessarily felt the consequences of his words. He kind of has fights with paparazzi people. But when Diddy went to put it on him, he suddenly got on the internet. That was a, that was a really lame bit, I thought, of Kanye at that time where, where Flippin' Diddy was trying to get at him to try and meet up and he was basically screenshotting the conversations and sharing on his feed and being like, if anything happens to me, Diddy did it. Like basically just snitching, like acting really, <laughs> really weird about it which i thought was really really lame but again he's a billionaire you can kind of do billionaire things and you know that is the kind of uh weirdly secret thing that i wish i could do of course i wouldn't come out and flipping be a flipping anti-semite but just the ability to just say what you want and kind of fly off the seat of your flipping pants and whatnot and just kind of go with the flow and and, and let it be as it is especially if you're supremely talented you know everyone's going to always come back because your talent is you know basically undeniable so big up kanye for being the guy that he is <laughs> big up kanye for being the guy is and reminding people that hey i'm still on that time by the way don't think i'm your friend i'm not your friend no 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 not your friend so yeah big up yay big up yay